Welcome back, fellow seekers of the hidden light. Today's cosmic journey through the Tanya reveals a profound truth that just might make your soul do cartwheels in your body. Picture this, the creator of all in his infinite wisdom didn't craft this magnificent universe just to have us escape it. Oh no, it's quite the opposite. You see, our souls, those divine sparks of celestial wonder, they aren't meant to pack up and fly away. They're here on a mission. Um, imagine them donning cosmic armor, tasked with a sacred duty to study the Torah and perform mitzvahs. It's like lovingly tending a garden, but instead of flowers, we're growing spirituality right here in the earthly soil. And here's the mystical kicker. You might think heaven is up there somewhere beyond the stars, but Judaism flips the script. We're not just climbing a spiritual ladder to the skies. We're pulling heaven down to earth one good deed at a time. Each mitzvah is a conduit, a channel that draws divine energy into our world, infusing it with a higher purpose. When your soul feels that urge to soar, to dissolve into eternal bliss, the Tanya whispers a gentle not yet. It's like a divine play where the stage is the world and your soul's grand exit is paused for a final crucial act. So let your soul take a deep breath and dive back into the physical because that's where the real magic happens. Keep this in mind as you walk the winding path of life. Fellow travelers, embrace the physical, engage with the world, and remember, every act of goodness is a beacon, a signal fire inviting the divine presence into our midst. Now go forth and be the bridge between heaven and earth until next time, keep the flame of curiosity alive and the light of wisdom burning bright.